Okay, the holidays are here. Yay! Not in California, which is why I'm still wearing a t-shirt. It's like 85 outside. Don't hate me because it's warm. But how can we stay healthy during the holidays? I get this question every October, November, December for the past decade or so. Um, look, guys, you should approach the holidays the same way you approach every day of your life, right? Like, let's think about this for a second. How do you gain weight? You gain weight by eating too much food, okay? You gain weight by eating more calories than you're burning, okay? So first things first, we can offset the amount of food we're taking in by moving more. So it's kind of like dollars, right? Think about it. If you earn more money, you can spend more money. If we go to the gym and we burn more calories, we get to eat a little bit more food. So if you know you're going to a party that night, go to the gym and do a HIIT workout to burn more calories, right? Okay, so that's self-explanatory. We gotta move a little bit more. Go to the gym in extra time that week. Go a little harder when you're there. Add five or 10 more minutes if you're only doing 20. So do an extra 30, that is my parrot. Going to the bathroom in the background. Now, back to our subject matter. So, okay, now we wanna eat treat foods. Fair, but you can't make everything a treat food. And you should approach everyday life like this. So one of the things I do is I follow the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the foods I eat in a day are good, healthy foods, right? Good as in like salmon, berries, like the healthy foods. We've all seen that episode of Dr. Oz. And 20% are foods that are not super duper healthy. Like, I mean, I'm willing to show you. Like some of my, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, yeah, they're organic, but it's like corn chips, popcorn. I mean, friggin', I got all kinds of stuff in here. Hippies, puffs, you know, I mean, the stuff's not health food. It's snack food, but it's organic. I don't do the chemicals. So when I eat treat foods, I avoid the stuff, right? That's high in chemicals no matter what. And I make 20% of those calories. It could be a glass of wine, of which we just moved there, three bottles, right behind Caitlin, my fabulous camera uh, person extraordinaire. There's a whole bar behind you. Please pan to the bar, pan to the bar. All right, so the idea here, team, is that we don't overdo it. We have a couple of drinks, not 10. We work these foods into our daily calorie allowance. And if we know we're gonna eat more one day, try eating a little less the next. You can also take your week on collectively on average. So for example, I eat about 1800 calories a day. I'm in maintenance mode. If we do the math over the course of that week, Jules, will you multiply seven by 1800 please? 12,600 is my weekly calorie average. So like, let's say one day I ate 2,200, then the next day, I, instead of eating 1,800, I might drop it down to like 1,500, 1,600, and burn a little more at the gym. So if you eat a little more one day, eat a little less the next, go a little harder at the gym. But don't think of it as like a cheat day, or you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I fell off the wagon, so all hope is lost. There should never be a cheat day. You should never think to yourself like, I ate perfect all week long because then you're gonna come out of this hibernation and literally hit every fast food place on the block. Don't do that. Work it all in daily, within reason, in a balanced fashion, and find balance throughout the course of your week. So if one day's a little more intense, the next day should be a little less intense when it comes to food consumption.